Dear, dear friends and enthusiasts, uh, welcome for two days, uh, busy days here in Lithuania, where you have gathered some of you for the first time, some of, some of you for the second or the further times. Thomas Malthus, uh, one of the uh, starters of uh, international demography, has predicted that the uh, world will grow to the number of people which will uh, actually decay the world's capacity to feed them. This was not the truth, because uh, the, the innovative agricultural business has proved that we can feed the world population. Nowadays, we have uh, more people dying from overweight than from the hunger. But uh, the food security, the climate change, the war conflicts, uh, which have been continuous uh, throughout the history, has been uh, putting the people in uh, food insecurity in various regions. And especially with current uh, inflationary crisis, uh, people chose uh, to save on, fo on food, especially on ecological food. Me as a Minister of Lithuanian uh, Environment uh, would like to welcome you all and uh, tell that we, we are brothers in, uh, in future building. Uh, agriculture will be the first uh, sector to be touched by the climate change and will be touched in the worst case scenario because of aridification, the desertification of uh, fertile lands, because of flooding of uh, your countries and your fertile uh, uh, agricultural soils. And this will be proved from the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere. And you here, you, you will provide the solutions. You will provide the solutions for food, in, food security, for food innovation, and for uh, many other sectors where the value chain has to be net zero. Just in three weeks, uh, we'll meet uh, ministers of environment in Dubai, and we will speak about uh, damage and loss uh, for the southern hemisphere and developing countries that we, the developed world, have to pay annually around 100 billion euros for the countries to be developed. Because otherwise, one, around 1.5 1 1 billion people will live in areas uh, which are not fit for uh, living in the upcoming decade. This is a fact which uh, encounters us in the house, uh, northern hemisphere because we will encounter immigration of uh, huge, huge numbers because of people lacking food security, lacking jobs uh, in their locations and lacking proper uh, weather conditions. We as a ministers of uh, environment, together with ministers of ag agriculture, we will also encounter problems of so solving the uh, other areas like negative, uh, uh, negative uh, emissions uh, from, uh, from the agriculture, like uh, destruction of biodiversity, and those are the, the problems we face today. We have faced them for decades, and uh, we have been uh, successful with countries here in Europe, which provide solutions. Lithuania is one of them. With the uh, Agri-Food uh, Network, we have gathered a lot of companies which provide solutions, both uh, digital and biotech solutions, which provide platform for knowledge exchange and we are very much uh, pleased to welcome you here during those two days to exchange, exchange the practice about solutions which can foster the innovations. Have a good uh, knowledge exchange and uh, every conference finishes uh, with uh, outcome for, you, for every of you which is the uh, outcome of exchange, new contacts, new partnerships, new applications for European or other fundings and new solutions for businesses to be implemented next day or the next year. Have a good conference.